Yeah. I meant to make this video a long time ago, but obviously that didn't happen. But a year ago today, I decided that I was going to go the whole year without buying any trainers. Like nothing. Not even as a gift for someone else. I wasn't allowed to enter raffles for someone else. No trainers for a whole year. There's a couple of reasons why I decided to do it. So let's just dive straight into those. Initially, I realized, um, just reflecting on the year that had gone by, 2019, that I was in debt. I was, I had no savings, but yet I was still spending hundreds of pounds a month on sneakers. And I did the mess. I actually did a post. I'll put it, um, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. I did a post of my favorite sneakers that I'd picked up in 2019. And then I started to do the maths on all the shoes that was in the shop. And I was realizing that I was spending thousands of pounds on average each year on sneakers. But yet I was in debt, like I said, and I had no savings. And that just seemed ridiculous to me. Like why, how can I be in a position where I'm spending all this money on shoes, but yet I'm not doing anything to pay down my debt. So, and also cause I like a challenge. I decided this year I was gonna go a whole year and see how far I could go. And also it was a tough one because this year was supposed to be the year of the dunk, right? Dunks were making a comeback. As you can see, I'm wearing some of my favorites. I don't care if I'm wearing them on the couch. These have literally never touched the floor outside of my house. They're like house shoes at this point. Um, but yeah, I'm a big dunk head. So this year was a tough year for me to choose to not buy any sneakers at all. And the things that transpired as a result of that, I learned a lot of things. Um, I learned a lot of things about myself. I learned a lot of things about marketing and how stores and brands manipulate us into buying stuff that we really don't need or want but having that having the opportunity to take a step back out of the routine of just you know every saturday morning logging onto sneakers app seeing what's available trying to get a win even the idea of a win like having taken a year off has really helped me see how clever that is but also how insidious it is that we're raffled the opportunity to win to buy something I think I was having a conversation with my mum or maybe my grandma um, earlier in the year saying that I'd talking about winning raffles and then the punchline came when they were like but you have to buy them so you won them but you you have to buy them and that just sinking into my head now that I'm not well now that I've gone a year not buying any shoes like the idea that people feel good or feel bad based on winning or losing the opportunity to spend their own money just seems wild. Like I get that some shoes are super limited and you have to make it fair for people, but just the psychology of it is fascinating when you're not in it. So that's something that I've learned. Um, the other thing was that I'm quite impulsive. So I'll buy stuff just to look at it sometimes. Like I might see a shoe online and think the pictures are cool, but I'm not sure about the materials. And I would just buy it just to have the shoe so I can see it in person and make up my mind. But also I don't sell sneakers and I don't, I'm really bad at like returning stuff. So I end up just keeping stuff that I really don't need. I've got like doubles of shoes that I bought by accident. I've got triples of some shoes that I bought by accident just because I was buying impulsively and entering multiple raffles and then you'd win them all and you're like, well, I might as well just buy the ones that I've won. It's ridiculous. And having the year out has helped me see how ridiculous some of that stuff is. And I'm not shitting on anyone who buys trainers impulsively like I used to, but I think if you all who do, if you still do that, if you took a step back, even if it was a couple of months, and and you resisted the urge to spend you learn a lot about what you really like like certain shoes now that i'm not well, not being able to buy them you kind of you get you get free of the hype like you're not looking at shoes from a perspective of hype you're looking at actually if this was my money if i could buy this would i really be into this shoe and there's so many shoes that have come and gone this year where i was like, actually i would have bought that in another year but I'm not really feeling them. And like getting over the fact that I can't own that shoe because I've decided I'm not buying anything. Getting over the fact that I can't buy them has helped me realize that 
I really didn't. I could have done without them anyway. And I've done without them. Like, I've made it this far. I've still got shoes I've never worn. I've still got shoes ready to, like, unbox and un-DS. And it's crazy to think that before I would have been so depressed with all the L's I would have taken this year. Like I had a hashtag in my Instagram, my sneakers Instagram, hashtag no L's 2020, um, which is only really a, refer- a reference to sneakers because we all took a lot of L's this year uh, in life. But yeah, just knowing that I've missed out or been able to avoid that negative slump that you get after you get all those rejections, you have not won all of that nonsense I've been free of that and it's been really lovely actually not having that high and low of entering and hoping you're going to get something and then being ultimately disappointed so that's been valuable another thing that I've been able to do is with the help and guidance of my mother I've been able to clear my credit card debt so I'm now debt free going into a new year which is incredible um so thanks mum for helping out with that uh, I've been able to invest in more equipment as you can see, I've got some new bits behind me. Uh, I've got back into gaming, so I could I was able to comfortably afford a PS5, you know, on launch day, which is a blessing. I remember being a kid, I couldn't have the newest anything like that, you know, just when it came out. Whereas now I'm in a position as an adult with savings in the bank to buy a PS5, and I'm not having to do crazy stuff online or you know enter competitions or sell my body or <laughs> whatever people are doing uh, to get that ps5 like i'm i'm very i feel very blessed to be in that position now having saved some money having resisted the urge to spend impulsively to be able to decide what i want in advance put the money aside and then spend it and you know i'm going back to buying trainers i'm not i haven't given up completely i will be buying trainers again um in the new year but with a new mindset that I can be more choosy. I can be more particular about the stuff that I do want and I don't want. And I will let stuff go that otherwise I would have just bought because it's there and because I got the win. And I know if any of you guys need any raffle entries, I'm back. So if there's, I won't be going for as much stuff. So definitely hit me up on Instagram. And if you want me to help out with a raffle, I'll definitely enter for more people this year because I've, I can, and I won't be entering as much for myself. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, just to explain it. I think a lot of people asked me and a lot of people didn't think I could do it. But a lot of people have said to me throughout the year that seeing me go without has helped them be a bit more um, discerning in their, in their own spending, which is lovely to hear. I think mindless consumerism is one of the things that is wrong with our culture, with our society in general. And without being too heavy... I just think it's something we should be a bit more conscious about, you know, where we spend our money, how we spend our money, what we're doing with our money, having savings in the bank. Like I've always been a spender. I've never been one to really put money aside unless I was saving up for something, but I never just wanted to have savings in case. And having a bit of money in the bank is a nice feeling to know that I can go two, three months and not earn anything, you know, take a long holiday and I'm okay. Like that is liberating. That is something that I've always wanted and I've only just achieved at this point in my life, which is amazing. So yeah, quick video. I uh, hope it wasn't too long. If anyone has any comments or questions, please put it in the comment section below. But yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram, Gadgets John and Sneakers John. That's J O N, not J O H N, which is weird. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy New Year.